I want to leave that in the video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit. Are you ready? I think so. so. You, I just want to be clear. You look at the lens, not the... Where's the lens? <laughs> in front of you? <laughs> this This thing here, not this thing. Right, this thing? Yeah, that's the lens. So not the red light, but the big, big round thing. The lens, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what I look at? Yeah. <laughs> that's uncomfortable. <laughs> I prefer to look at that. Don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I gotta get used to it. Because I've been looking at the wrong place this whole time. So now I have to readjust. But it looks like it's, like, facing that way. So now it looks like I'm looking at someone, like, at the side of their face. It's fine. How am I supposed to look at someone who's not looking at me? <laughs> you do that often. <laughs> what do you mean? I do, but not right there. This one's right in front of me. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, lead us off. <laughs> what? Hey, yo. <laughs> Try again, please. Except less. Um, I'm trying to be cool and more just yourself. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Right, I was looking at the wrong place. Sorry. Okay, try again. looking yeah. at you. Uh -huh. No, look at the lens, not me. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at you. Oh, good. I was talking to the lens. <sighs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. I think that one was normal. Yeah, yeah, I think that was good. Hello. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's this girl whose videos I've seen a few times and she starts off her videos. I don't know why it cracks me up. She starts off her, her some videos where I'm like <laughs> it just cracks me up. Go ahead. Start start the video like that. I can't do it. You got this, girl. Mm. Or, hi. Just like... To continue. Continue? Yeah. You didn't say your name. You didn't say what the video is about. Uh, do I have to? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It makes Why me feel better. <laughs> okay. Gives me something to touch. Okay. Hi. I'm Val. Uri. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm Val. Okay, yeah. Everybody calls me Val anyway. That's the point of saying Valerie. Um, <laughs> we're here to talk about our trip to Japan. And how that was. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Ooh, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It's literally a five minute intro of just us laughing. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Lady Public of Public Gaming, and this is my best friend, Valerie! Yay. Also known as Bodyguard on Twitter, <laughs> who protected me from the elements and did a terrible job because I got stuck in Japan. Well, not my twice. fault. It is. Like, it's really not. Because I was fine. That was why. She was <laughs> fine. She actually was. I, yeah. I was the one who got sick, and yeah. it was unfortunate. Yeah. But we are here today to talk about our Japan trip. We stayed in Japan for two months, and it was wild. <laughs>
this is kind of an off the cuff video. We're just gonna talk about what we did in Japan, what we liked, what we didn't like, and things that surprised us, things that didn't surprise us, just our trip to Japan. So a little context, this was my first time ever outside of the US. This is Val's time. No. This <laughs> This is Val's third time. Fourth. Oh, four. Where'd you go? Um, Remember England? England, Korea, Korea Japan, <laughs> Jamaica, and, okay. then, and then Japan. Okay, Korea. okay, alright, so four Korea. times. So it's my first, I mean, her fourth. I was born out of the country, so that would make five, really. <laughs> you feel, feel good about yourself? But if we're trying to be accurate. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. yeah. Her fifth time out of the country. Mm. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So something about being around Val. <laughs> okay. So something about being around Val makes me unhinged. I don't know what it is. It's her fault, not mine. No. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. I bring out the best in everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, mm. so I guess we have like a little list here of stuff we can talk about. Um, pros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, the massages we got. Oh yeah, and the price point. <laughs> Dio. Oh yeah. my god, it was thirty dollars for a sixty minute massage and you know every have to tip. time. Every time. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah. Loved it. And it was such a good massage. Such yeah. And then what it was like fifty dollars? Fifty dollars for ninety minutes. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, I will say the massages were very different than what I expected. So in America, like you can undress to your comfort level and they use like an oil and they massage like it's like skin to skin, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Japan did not do that. At least okay. the place where we went. At least the place that we went, true. So they, they give you like an outfit, and it's like a very loosey, like, chill outfit. You undress to your comfort level, you just change to the outfit. And then they put like towels over you and they massage you like through the towels. And I don't know, I did not expect this. I don't know what kind of massage this was, but these people like dug into you. <laughs> like these people, like you thought it was great. The first time I got the massage, I was like, what the fuck just happened? Like, what is this? Yeah, it was for me, oh, I, I don't know what her massages were like, but for me, it was like a combination of like sports massage and like some reflexology stuff. It was, it was great. What did they do was that great. was reflexology? Oh, she did a lot of like stretching and then she did some like trigger point stuff for me. Oh, she did not do that. <laughs> she would like no. pull at my forehead. <laughs> Am I doing it? Kind of. That's kind of what it felt like. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, okay. It was great. No, nah, this felt like more of a sports shot. Like, yo, oh my god. Yo, I thought I was dying for one of the. So, okay, so context. Val used to work at a massage place, so she knows like whatever it was. Front desk. I was not massage therapist yeah front desk, whatever so but like she this woman <laughs> grabbed my neck and was just like just like <laughs> like it was like this what did you say that bone was called or that thing that's sternocleidomastoid it's like yeah. sternum sternocleidomastoid so this is the mastoid though yeah 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 well they did but they like pulled like okay <laughs> they went like this but mm -hmm. imagine like digging i don't want to dig into it because no, it felt ahead. like no i will not because oh. i will kill you like you, this, you this girl tried to kill I swear to God, I paid this girl fifty dollars to kill me. To and you went back. And I and went, went back. back. I know. Cause she I'm telling what did she what's the massage? It's like a Mufasa massage. <laughs> what, what do you call it? What you call it? Myofascial release. Mufasa. No, release. yes, of course. Yeah. The Mufasa mm -hmm. release. It's like mm -hmm. the same thing. And like I'm telling you, they were like Doing it, but like, yeah. also it was like, um, because they had the towel and it felt like they were like pulling on my skin versus like, cause it yeah. didn't have any oil. Yeah. So like, that's when, so like, you know, when you get like a massage in America anyways, they have oil and it like slides, it glides across, it feels really nice. Th no, I felt like I was dying. I felt like I was being attacked. Okay. <laughs> I felt like I was being attacked. And let me tell you the next two days I was bru like, well, I was a bruise, but I was sore. That's yeah. what I, I was sore. Like it was yeah. like you worked out kind of sore. I was yeah. like, bro, this woman. Yeah. Tried to kill me. <laughs> this woman tried to kill me. So that was a lot of fun. That was great. Yeah, that was great. We went every week. 
We did. Every Wednesday it was that like we double points. Sick. Yeah, that we weren't sick. But it was like double points on Wednesday, so we went every Wednesday. That was pretty cool. Yeah. It, they, they were super nice, too. They were super nice. They we got our double right. points. They are like, extra five minutes. And I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes to choke me out. Woo! <laughs> Another thing that was I really liked was the seafood. She doesn't like seafood because her taste buds are ass. I but hate seafood. Yeah. A pity. Mm, not really. But the seafood was really good. The sushi was amazing. Like, I'm afraid to have sushi in America because I just feel like it's going to be ruined. But, like, it's interesting because they, like, I mean, they make it in front of you and it's by hand. Like, just <clears throat> no gloves. I was like, oh, no gloves. They just, like, dipped their hands in water. It was kind of like, all right, it's clean. And then they just, like, took mm. the rice, molded the rice, and some they put, like, the wasabi between the fish and rice. And then you dipped it. I, that's another thing. They were like, oh, yeah, the Japanese way is use your hands. I was like, Okay. <laughs> so, and they're like, dip Was that fish. for sushi or for sushi? Nigiri. Okay. Or not, no, it was sushi. No, it was sushi. Okay. Nigiri, yeah, I am right. Nigiri, okay. yeah. Yeah. For sushi, it was like, yeah, use your chopsticks. <laughs> Don't be a fucking barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> the best food, though. The best food was the Wagyu beef. Oh, my God. The best beef I've ever had. Mm. Ever had. And it was nice and pink in the center. And it was like, that's another thing she doesn't know. She, she no, sucks well at eating, done. dude. Dude, well done. she has like the, wor the <laughs> worst taste the buds I've ever greatest, seen in my greatest. life. Okay, right. just to give you color. So Valerie won't eat cheese unless it's melted. <laughs> Her I will eat. I can eat cheese if it's not melted. I just prefer my cheese to be hot and melted. And you she know, literally will like, not eat. It. I will. I will. I just will only have. If a you meet Val in real life, she'll only eat it just to make me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I promise you, she does not. <laughs> oh, she doesn't eat like cold cuts. Like no cold meat. All of her meat has to be well done. Like it has and to hot. be fucking gray. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it has to be gray. Okay, gray. I said what I said. Or brown. <laughs> Gray. Lie to you? <laughs> no. Oh no. I've seen what she eats, and oh, it's disgusting. It's actually it's vile. Delicious. It's delicious. What else do you eat As that's you like learned, disgusting? You get more flavor that way. Okay. So we had sukiyaki, and maybe she was right that so sukiyaki is like sweet and tangy. T not tangy. It's like sweet. sweet. It's like um sweet, salty, sweet. sweet. Yeah, Salt like sweet and soy sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, but you take, like, you get thin pieces of meat and you just leave them in there, you let them cook. I love grossing Valerie out. So what I do sometimes is I would, like, leave it in there for, like, 0.5 seconds and I take it out and just fucking eat it. Because I, I, I could eat raw, I swear to God. You could just put the fucking living cow on the so table and I'll eat it. Like, I do not care. But, like, the sukiyaki, I was eating it this way, like, just, like, leaving it in for, like, I don't know, a minute and then I'm eating it. And then, like, at the last one, I was like, I'll do what Val does, whatever. I'll leave it in there for, like, five to seven minutes or some shit. And then I ate it, and obviously, it soaks up the flavor. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it may have been better Absolutely. than what I was eating. It was ten times better than what she was eating. Yeah. 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 The quest for potatoes is real. <laughs> we just want some potatoes, man. <laughs> we just want some potatoes. I... Love potatoes. I love same girl. I love potatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just going back on all the memories. There were so many times mm -hmm. where we would go <laughs> and order something like I ordered gnocchi, gnocchi and I ordered what I thought were going to be French fries. I don't know what they made. I don't know if it was made with like potato flakes instead, which. I don't mind like potato flakes or whatever, but like it, I don't know what it was. It just tasted like a box, like a cardboard box. It really did. It was vile. I'd, what it? It felt like it felt like it tasted like flour. Like they just overused a fuck ton of like filler yeah, flour. Yeah, like it was like a oh potato and flour combination, but there was way more flour than potato. Way more flour in there. Because they made the first thing we had was like, it was called like long, long fries. Potato, long long fries, fries. Something like that. And Disgusting. they were like. Disgusting. It was so. vile. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. And then when you got your gnocchi, it tasted the same. It tasted the same. Tasted the same. I was like, what the fuck are they doing to potatoes? But then at the same time, we did find potatoes that were good. Like we went to a place called the Cheese Room and like it was fondue mm -hmm. and they gave us like vegetables and potatoes were among them. And these potatoes were like oh infused with butter and they were so yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I was like, where are the potatoes? Right. Where are these? Just do this for do all of the things that use potatoes. Yeah, I think it. I taste. I think it tasted better than American potatoes. 
The 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 cheese room ones? Okay. The cheese room ones, I think they did. As a whole, no, America. America! But like <laughs> But like the the cheese room ones, because they like it just felt like they injected them with butter to just the right amount yeah. and it was just like mm, divine. Like the cheese, the fondue was really good. Something tomatoes. We did not expect. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. No, like, I, we did not expect the tomatoes to be as good as they were. In fact, our first meal when we got to Japan was curry. And then Val got, um, it was, like, called ginger tomato or something. It was just tomatoes yeah, with ginger yeah. on top. Yeah. And I, I don't even like ginger like that. I love ginger. I'm warming up to it more and more, but, like, ginger tea freaks me out. I'll drink it, but it still freaks me out because it's just, it's so, like, intense. I'm like, uh, uh. Yeah. So we had it, and it was, like, it had no business being as good as it was. They were, like, firm and juicy and sweet, but not, like, sweet, sweet. It was just, like, uh, the sweetness you would expect from a tomato. And it was just, like, full of flavor. Like, it didn't yeah. taste watery. It, oh, it so was good. so good. So good. And, like, all Japanese tomatoes tasted amazing. All of them across the board. I don't think we had a single bad Japanese tomato. No. And I was like, what's going on? It was so good. I haven't had a tomato since we've been back in the U.S. Like, oh. I just... I had one today, actually. We went to um, a Mexican restaurant, and they gave, like, you know, guac, lettuce, tomato. And I was looking at the tomatoes. I was like, why do they look so pale? <laughs> like, why do they just... And, like, they taste like watery tomato. Yeah. I was like, what is this? But, yeah, we swear by the tomatoes. The fruit was really... Yo, fruit is very expensive in Japan. Yeah. Fruit is very expensive. Yo, we found... Well, I found fruit. We went to... Admittedly, I think this was Ginza. Mm -hmm. I went... Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 this one wasn't in Ginza. This one was in Shinjuku. In Shinjuku, we found, or, like, it was me and my friend Hiro. Like, he showed me, like, oh, this is the expensive fruit. And there was, like, cherries that were, like, 16,200 yen, which is, like, I think for, what, every 5,000 yen is roughly um, is roughly $30. Yeah, it's, like, 100 and it's almost $102. That's crazy. US dollars. Yeah, that was for, like, I don't know, 12 cherries or something like that. I was, like... These better be like the most delicious cherries, but we didn't buy them, obviously. <laughs> but and like even like a mango, a mango was like five thousand. It was like so it was roughly like thirty dollars for this mango. And like part of me, she's a mango connoisseur. I really, I, I, I almost, I almost bought it, but I was like, no, I'm not justifying paying thirty dollars for a single <laughs> mango. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah. I, I was, I'm not gonna lie, curiosity. Curiosity yeah. was real. So we went to a place called Ma Ma Moss Burger? Moss Burger. Moss Burger. M-O-S. Yeah. And <laughs> it was like, a fa like the fast food, you know, burger joint. And their burgers are very soft. Like yeah. their hamburgers. Yeah. Are very, very soft. Yeah. And I don't know what kind of beef they make it with. I don't know soft. if it's like ground beef and then like the, just the way they mix it. It just, it just comes out. Soft. It's, it's soft, yeah. It's very weird. When you're chewing it, it's like mush? Yeah, almost. kind of. Oh, uh, yeah. I d oh, we weren't a fan. Yeah. But the teriyaki burger, you didn't like. I don't think you got that. I didn't try the teriyaki. Yeah, didn't yeah because the it's thigh. Burger. See? She's picky. Because she doesn't like chicken thigh. I don't. I do. I don't. Yeah. We, we know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now they know. <laughs> They did know how to make French fries, though. Yes, they yeah. did know that. Listen, we had any potato victory, we we celebrated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we went to this place called uh, C'est la Vie. C'est la Vie was amazing. That's the place where I got the wagyu beef. Highly recommend it. It was in Shibuya, and like it was, it's really beautiful because it's like a skyline. Like you have the yeah, you have a view of the sky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like we're on top floor and stuff, and it's very like hoity-toity and stuff. But you didn't think so? Hoity-toity, no. It was, it was like, I thought it was, it was, it okay. had a good, a night, like a okay. nice lounge vibes and people did, you could dress up to go there, but there were plenty of people who were just like wearing jeans and like a nice shirt. I, I don't consider that hoity toity. So you think the Butler Cafe was hoity toity? Yes. That was a lot more like elegant and you know, you were expected to be like classy and stuff. Okay, yeah. fine. So yeah. let's talk about the Butler Cafe. <laughs> okay. So the Butler Cafe. So I went to a butler cafe because I just really wanted to go. I follow this um, butler cafe group uh, on YouTube. It's called The Swallowtail. And I was like, okay, cool. I was like, well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought my water was next to me over here, but it's not. <laughs> I saw you do something in the corner. I was like, what's wrong with her? I just wanted my water. It's fine. So we went to The Swallowtail Cafe. And here's the thing. So supposed to be like a butlery like think 
you know, that cringe anime shit that we used to do at conventions, you know, like a maid cafe, but you know, it's dudes. Mm -hmm. And like, here's the thing, Roy, is <laughs> one, there was a language barrier because they asked like, do you want to be called like lady or mistress or something, like whatever, like two, or whatever. The, oh, you mean, you looked at me, I was like, why did you fucking doubt me? No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, since you mentioned it, you said that the translated thing, they were, like, asking you to choose between my lady or princess. No. Well, mother... <laughs> so, okay, because it was weird. When you reserved online, they said wife or lady. I said wife, because I was like... <laughs> so... What they were calling? I have no fucking idea. No, though. No, 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 because when we got there, they asked what would we rather be addressed as. Mm. So, like, I don't know why. Like, I reserved it. I, like, filled it out, whatever. <laughs> so the problem is, there was like a language barrier, so I think, you know, when someone's trying to be suave or charming, charming, it's just difficult when you don't speak their language. Because, you know, they repeat things or they say things like slowly, they don't, you know, lay all the charm. Yeah. Like, hello, my princess. <laughs> <laughs> that was so not charming. It really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my princess! <laughs> <laughs> my beautiful Isn't princess! No. <laughs> Girl, try to show me up. Girl, try to show me up. That is crazy, and then fails. Wow. Mm. So, anyways, yep. they tried to be charming, and as you can see, we didn't do much better, but like, yep. they tried and did not succeed because we didn't really know what they were saying so it was just like you know someone speaking to you in a different language and then you're just kind of like <laughs> you know you smile yes um and so like they were obviously nice and polite and stuff like that and like you have like a bell to like ring and summon them so uncomfortable oh my god she was so <sighs> oh my god because so they'd pull out the chairs for us now i love that shit i love being pampered to give you some like idea of how like val and i operate <laughs> I don't like how you said that. I really don't. I feel offended, insulted already. Okay, go ahead. You know, sometimes you gotta <laughs> you <like> wind up <laughs> her screws and stuff like that. Recalibrate her because she talks out of turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <You know. laughs> so, okay. so, um, <laughs> I forgot like, my fucking. Oh, how we operate. Okay, okay. Yeah, how we mm -hmm. operate. How <laughs> <laughs> you do this to me? Oh my god. So, like, if we were in a medieval, like, situation, I would definitely be, like, the princess. I would be, like, girly. I'd be, I like... Too would be a princess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> We'd both be siblings. We'd be the princesses, whatever. But I'd be, like, very girly. You know, I would like the pampering. I would like the tea times. I would like the, like, ballroom, um, the ball... The balls... <laughs> I would like them big balls. <laughs> I just want to be around big balls. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright, so. <laughs> Anyways, think of me like similar to like Sansa from Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. right? Whereas she would be like Arya. She would be like, I'm gonna train with the knights, not be surrounded by be balls. Running around, yeah. <laughs> I just registered with you. Oh lord. Okay. Go yeah. Ahead. I, I I would be more of the like wanting to go on adventures, wanting to go with the hunting parties and stuff like that. Learn how to fight, find all the secret passageways through everywhere. Yeah. Not yeah. cooped up. Being pampered. So like, but it was so funny because like, oh my God. <laughs> they were like, I think did you? Oh, so they would like take out the chairs for us. Like, take out the chairs. <laughs> I think. I think you pulled out your own chair. I did. Yes. <laughs> While they were, <laughs> because it was it was just so uncomfortable. Because it was like it was only one guy who led us to our mm -hmm. table. They were they were like it was one guy and he sat her first. So like he pulled out 
her chair and then like waited for her to sit down and all that stuff. And I was just standing there <laughs> on my side of the table and I was like, I don't know what is supposed to happen here. I wasn't given a manual or the rules for what to do here. And so while he was pulling out her chair, I just pulled out my own and sat down. Dog. And, like, I'm pretty sure he, like, looked like he was just kind of like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You know, and I was like, oh my God, no. <laughs> like, she just, she could not handle it. She, I was like, oh my God, like, we need to ring a bell, all this stuff. And, like, but the bell was kind of obnoxious because it was loud. It felt loud. I don't know. I never rang it. Oh, well, I rang it once. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. Because I kept drinking water. Yeah, we were just like water fiends. Yeah. We just kept drinking water. Yeah. But, like, another thing was we went to the bathroom, but in order to go to the bathroom, you have to be escorted to the bathroom. So, like, what would happen is they would pull out your chair, like, help pull out your chair, and mm -hmm. you'd stand. So, like, while my chair's being pulled out, and, like, you know, I stand up, and then Val's just, like, sitting here, like, waiting for her turn. Because they I, made sure to tell me this time. They were like, we'll pull out your chair for you. Yes. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay. And so, like, they pull out my chair. And Val's, like, sitting here, just, like, comfortable, just kind of, like, <laughs> being the awkward little bean that she is. And then she... So then they go around, like I'm standing here, they pull out her chair, and she stands, and then they're like right this way. So they lead us to the bathroom, and there's like this like red rug or whatever. So it's like, okay, they lead you to the like end of the red rug, and then like the bathroom's there. And he's like, oh, this way. So you go to the bathroom, you do your thing. And she's like venting to me how like fucking weird <laughs> this shit is. <laughs> she's just not feeling it at all. I'm like, I hear you, and she's not wrong, because it is really awkward to be like, Escort to the bathroom. And the thing is, you can't return to your seat either. You walk, like, after you go to the bathroom, you walk to the red, on the other side of the red rug, and you just wait until the butlers see you, and they're like, oh, right this way. So they, like, escort you back to your seat. But you have to, like, wait to sit down. You know, yeah. you have to, like, wait for them to over you. It is just kind of like, we just, we just sit down, you know? Like, we, yeah. we do it, you know? Um, so, like, I get it was supposed to be sweet and elegant, and I wish I had footage to show you guys, but there were no cameras allowed yeah. as to keep the ambiance of the cafe. <laughs> like, so. Good end. Good. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. I got it. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. So speaking of food. All right. So it was like a course, right? <laughs> <laughs> so hear me out, y'all. This is supposed to be a butler cafe. So like, you know, they do whatever your heart desires within reason. But like, it's not, it's not, it's not one of them places. Mm -hmm. But you know, so first we, we order our courses, whatever. And first it's like tea, and then we get a salad. And they're like, oh, would you like pepper with your salad? We're like, yeah, sure. And they have like, you know, a big pepper cracker. Grinder? Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> pepper. <laughs> Grinder. And they grind your pepper, or gri yeah, it's whatever, it's great. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, lovely, whatever, so we eat it. And so the second course, or the second dish comes, and it's like your actual meal. So I got pasta, I think you got pasta too. Yeah, yeah. So whatever. And so a thing about Japanese food is like... <laughs> It is what they say it is. It's... That's a nicer way I was going to put it. Okay. Um, it's, Bland. Yeah. It's not very seasoned. It's, it's, just, it's just not it's just not, 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 not to my or our liking. I, I like my food very seasoned. Uh, and it was... Seasoned. It was, it was yeah. It was, so, the point is, and there's like no like you know, salt and pepper shakers on the table, whatever I get it, the ambiance. So like I ring the bell and they come over and they're like, oh, what can we do for you or whatever? And I was like, oh, can we like have some pepper on it? So yeah, mm. add a little spice to it. <laughs> and they were like, oh, no, <laughs> we don't put, like the pepper is only for the salad. And I was like, <laughs> like, okay, on the outside, I was like, oh, okay, I understand. <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, like, listen, baby, I'm American, okay? In America, if we ask for pepper, we get fucking pepper. We get fucking pepper, okay? We get fucking pepper. Like, I just, but, like, it was just, like, also weird. To yeah. Like, the pepper's only for the salad. For the salad, which is not, I don't, I'm not, pepper and salad isn't really a thing that I would have thought, but, yeah. It's fine. Oh, I don't mind pepper no, on my salad, actually. No, I liked it. But it's just. We can put pepper on our salad, but sorry, this pepper is only for the salad, you know? Not the fucking pasta. Like, yeah. and that, like, also blew my mind because I'm like, you're a butler cafe, right? Like, so you're supposed to, like, do what I want, you know? Like, yeah. I hate to sound entitled, but, like, I don't think this is a big ask, right? Yeah. I just, I, I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I but we, 
by that point, we had been to enough restaurants mm-hmm. where I was expecting them to be like, no. <laughs> because it seems, and it's not a bad thing, you know, I, I get it. They take, a, like, a lot of pride in the food they put together. And so there were a lot of places that we went where substitutions or, like, modifications to whatever you ordered weren't really yeah. allowed. And so I, I fully expected when we, when she asked them for the pepper, I fully expected them to be like, no. But it, it was still like a, huh. I mean, you're still far more <laughs> observant than I, because I just could not believe. I was in disbelief. I was shooketh to my core <laughs> that, like, I was denied pepper at a polar cafe. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Like, <laughs> I could not believe it. I just want some fucking pepper. Like, I don't think this was a crazy ask, okay? So, anyways, we did not get pepper on our pasta, so it's fine. That was another thing. I don't think we enjoyed... That was a whole fucking pot of tea. Yeah, we each got a whole fucking pot of tea. (laughs) 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 And they just kept pouring it. I'm I'm trying... (laughs) I'm in the middle of a tea journey. (laughs) So I'm trying to teach myself how to like tea. And I ordered this tea, and it was a lot more bitter than what I had anticipated. And so I was like, okay, perfect. I'll just drink a little bit or whatever. But every time they came by and my cup was empty, they would just refill it, even if I didn't ask. Which is great for a butler service. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Never-ending tea. Yeah. It was never-ending tea. And I think also the problem is that, like, obviously, we're American. And I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like... <laughs> I wanted it in my head. I was like, America. But I was like, oh, I have to add the kin to it. So I was like, oh, American. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, American. Mm-hmm. Le- le- just let me have it. So, we, like, the palette is obviously very different you know mm. and like a lot of the teas that were listed i was like i don't know what the fuck this is yeah you know it wasn't like chamomile it wasn't like yeah. lavender it wasn't like stuff that we kind of know it was just I, I, I don't know it was just stuff i have never heard of so we were kind of like and there was like little descriptors like yeah. oh this is sweet and relaxing or something none of these are sweet i don't believe it i don't believe japan is sweet tea well use it use it not use. like sweet tea like we do here no, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like, yeah. yeah, the tea was pretty, pretty bitter. Like, my tea was, like, good at first. Like, the first sip was good, and then I had a bitter after tea. I was like, what happened? Like, well, you were doing so good. You know, like, the first sip, I was like, ooh, ooh, you know? Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> that that definitely was a struggle. Just Japan in general, like, figuring out, like, what stuff was or different, co- like, or no, I was going to say color palette, Lord. <laughs> Flavor palette. Like, I got carbonara, but the carbonara, so it's, carbonara is traditionally made with parmigiano, reggiano, or, um... Pecorino? Pecorino. Yeah. And then, like, pasta water, and then you use, like, pork jowl. I forgot what the specific meat is called, but mm. it's pork jowl. And it's, like, akin to bacon, whatever. That's that's sort of Japan used bacon instead of the pork jowl, and they had, like, fish egg on top. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so, just, like, they had fish egg on a lot of things, by the way. Thankfully, I like fish egg. I just don't think I would add fish egg to my pasta, you know? But I ate it, and it wasn't bad. I was like, okay, this is, like, I, I could eat it. <clears throat> would I mm-hmm. want fish egg next time? No, but I could eat it. Mm-hmm. Some of the stuff was surprisingly good. Like, um, you don't like prosciutto. She doesn't eat pork, typically. The prosciutto with um, that had mashed potatoes on the inside. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. That, that was really yeah. good. I will say. I was like, oh, you love so, that. That was really fun. And then you good. tried to take it home. And they said no. That's another thing. <laughs> Japan doesn't believe in takeout. <laughs> oh my god. At least like fancier restaurants. Yeah. I'm sure like you know Moss <clears throat> Burgers or like chains. You know they're like yeah takeout sure no problem. But, like, I was shooketh because, yeah, I ordered the carbonara and then I had the prosciutto wrapped or the mashed potato wrapped in prosciutto and it was either, like, waste it or eat it. And the prosciutto, like, yeah. was so good. I was like, I can't waste it. But, like, ugh, ugh I ate it all. I was yeah. like, Lord. Um, but I will say, like, despite that happening, I think the portion sizes were really good. Great. Surprise, like, great. Yeah. Like, because you felt sated. But never like heavy or full, like like mm-hmm. ooh, like you know lumpy or anything. No, I actually was like <laughs> so, so <laughs> <A little> lumpy. <laughs> you just did. You know that feeling? You feel like <laughs> yeah. You know? 
But, like, no. And I think that's because, like, they obviously know you gotta walk places. You know, like, Japan's, like, all about walking. All about walking. I think cars are, like, evil there, man. <laughs> like, yo, we took taxis. And while taxis are safe, like, again, like, Westerner mindset. So I'm like, taxis? Like, oh my god, this is how people get murdered. <laughs> not all the time, but it's just, like, I just have... But yeah, I was like, I do not have that mindset, no, but okay. No, I, I fuck up like, yo, I don't trust nobody, whatever. But, like, certain things that were, like, different, like, you could walk at night, you know? Like, yeah. especially, like, as a woman, just, like, walk at night. It like, felt women, very safe. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God, it felt incredibly safe. Yeah. I was like, what the... Because you would see, like, women just walking by themselves, like, going to the grocery store, going to the kombini, all that stuff, and I was like, oh. Yeah. Grocery stores were open super late, too. Mm-hmm. Not however, used to that. However, 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 things, Japan opens really late. <laughs> So 10 a.m. is not super late. No, but it's like 11, 11.30. 11.30. Oh. Yes. All the places I went were open. Well, where, where did you go? So, like, okay, we had a bakery on our street. They opened at 8.30. Like, mm -hmm. fair enough, you know? Ba all right, fine. But, like, everywhere else, because there was this other cafe that we went to, and it was delicious. Oh, my God, they were so nice, and the food was really good. Like, I really liked the food. She thought it was, like... It was okay. It was fine. Irrelevant opinion. <laughs> but, like... It was so good. It was so cheap. You got like, you got, what is it? You got like buttered bread, a salad, and you know, a soup. Like a really filling soup in my opinion. A stew. Like a stew, yeah, a stew. And again, you just felt sated. You know, you truly felt sated afterward. And I was like, well, America could never. You know, <laughs> like, it's just the portion sizes, yes, yeah. are smaller, but I just feel, I feel full. Yeah, you it know? was always enough food yeah yes yeah yeah I, I don't think i've ever left like a restaurant like oh i should have ate more or whatever like there were times where i was like maybe i should get two but if like after you know when you eat food and then you just like sit for a bit and then you're like okay actually i am good i was just mm -hmm. you know thinking with my you know like look with my eyes eating with my eyes right where i can eat all the things no yeah. no no going to certain places like american <laughs> chains so like the mcdonald's was good i actually really enjoyed their chicken nuggies i like the fries the fries were good too but we also went to outback and outback was good <sighs> Like, I love Outback Steakhouse here, and yeah, no, it was good, but some, they're just, like, little differences. <laughs> so, like, you know, when you get, like, a side of fresh veggies, normally here, it's, like, zucchini, broccoli, and um, carrot. Carrots. Well, here, it was, like, what are you, what are those mushrooms called? I don't know mushrooms. She also doesn't like mushrooms. I don't. Another I thing to add to mm. the Valerie hates everything list, I swear. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, like, mushroom, broccoli, and carrot. Mm -hmm. mm hmm so and i was like oh okay and the mushrooms were okay like i like mushrooms so these mushrooms are like all right and so here you could get like for like the bread that they serve um you could get like butter like regular butter and then honey butter well in japan i asked for honey butter <laughs> and like our waiter he was so darling but he like our, he was he yeah rain that was his name yep. and he wants to be a soccer player mm -hmm. so we talked about blue lock the anime oh he was delightful but like <clears throat> we asked for Honey butter. And he looked at us like, honey butter. <laughs> honey butter. Yeah. I was like, yeah, honey. He, look, he was like, yeah, yeah, honey butter. Sure, yeah. yeah. You want that now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were like, yes. He was like, oh, oh okay. So he goes, he get, he just takes the butter yeah. and the honey and just kind of like drizzles it on. And then just like, here's like, honey butter. Yeah. And we look at it and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. Thanks! We're like in America. It's obviously like mixed and like yeah, it's, it's like, like a it's whole like, thing. It's a whole thing. Yeah. And, and it just, it was literally just like a little chunk of butter in the center yep. and he had just poured some honey over it. And I looked at it. I was like, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Like I ate it. It was fine. But it was just, it was just interesting right. to see like some of the yeah. differences, you know? Or like I like the Alice Springs chicken where in America it's normally like one big like chicken breast, but in this it was like two. It was like, I don't know, it was weird. I was like, oh, there's two here. Mm -hmm. But it was like the same amount. It was just interesting to yeah. not have it be presented necessarily the same. Just like little things like that, you know? Yeah. I think their drinks were really good. I think... Their drinks were pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I thought their drinks were good. It's like Japan's drinks have been like a hit and miss. Some drinks were like awesome, really delicious. And then others... This girl got a drink, I shit you not. That it was like... If nothing had a taste, <laughs> I never taste like you. It like, was just like sparkling nothing. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be some like really good apple flavored thing. Mm-hmm. It's not. No, it was not. The apples that it came with were really good. Yeah, I'm. I, I don't know what. It, I'm pretty sure those were Korean pears, but I can't tell because I've, I haven't seen it whole. Oh. But just like the way it tasted to me, yeah. 
yeah, well, that tasted like a whole lot of nothing, and I could not believe it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, ha? like it Just was impressive in all nothing. the wrong ways. Yeah. Oh, and that's another thing too. So Japan in their menus, they don't believe in like listing the ingredients. Like they just when we went to Say La Vie, like the fancy place, whatever. <laughs> they said like mashed potatoes, and we were like, oh okay, mashed potatoes. And but like the description was coconut. <laughs> <laughs> that was it, coconut. And I was like, what does that mean? What what part of this is coconut? And we tried asking the waiter, the waiter and he was like, yeah, coconut. It's like, no. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> is it coconut flavored? Does it have coconut on top? Yeah, coconut. I don't... The amount of times we went to restaurants where we questioned, like, what something was. Like, what is in this or whatever. The waiter always had to go back and ask the chef. Yeah. Like, they didn't just know. Yeah. Which I was like... Like, in America, <laughs> like, you know, they, they know. what. Like, well, it's not even like they know. It's just listed, right. you know, typically. Yeah. Sometimes you have to ask, like, oh, do you cook this in peanut oil versus... You know, I get it. But, like, this was... Like, I got, what's it called, Doria? Daria? Doria. Oh, Doria. Yeah, yeah, Doria. Yeah. And it was like seafood Doria. Mm -hmm. And it was like seafood on top of rice. And I was like, what kind of seafood? And like, yeah, they had pictures, but the pictures weren't always so great. Like, I mm -hmm. saw shrimp, and I was like, can you tell me, like, what seafood's in it? And they were like, uh, they went back and like asked. I was like, like, the amount of times we had to ask, yeah. you know? Yeah. And like, the coconut thing, the mashed potatoes were made with coconut milk. And I was like, oh, okay. But like, you have to understand, the description was just coconut. coconut. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> I was like... And it was coconut forward flavor, like which is weird. Don't you like coconut? I like coconut, but not for my. Ma I wanted mashed potatoes. I didn't want coconut potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We went back twice. Yeah, I got it, it was, again. It was really good. Yeah, it was, it was I fine. liked it. It was fine. If you if you really like coconut and you want coconut flavored mashed potatoes, <laughs> they were fine. That yeah. wasn't hurt. Yeah, they, they were. were that's what I said. They were fine. <sighs> How much longer do we have for this video? <laughs> All right, well, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that covers it for food. We just, like, talk about food for, like, literally 30 minutes. I mean, that was most of our life while we were there. That's true. Yeah. Um, let's talk about... <laughs> you and me. Let's talk about bubbles in the tub. Let's talk about making love. <laughs> Um, I have here in my notes, Val ruins every piece of steak, <laughs> because, yeah, again, she... I make it better, yeah. She really does yeah, not. Yeah. One of the negative things about Japan, right? <laughs> the biggest, I think, the biggest, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, it's pretty big, Val. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Was yeah. the hygiene. Now, you're probably thinking, what, Japan is always so clean, like, we've seen the streets, like, they're always so clean, whatever, like, people always look... Yes. Yes, the streets are clean. Like, it's true. Like, you're not supposed most to, like, places, eat yeah, yeah. yeah, most places, you know. We went to Shibuya, which we'll talk about that in a second. And, like, yeah, there was some messiness there. But, generally speaking, the roads were clean. There wasn't even, like, gum on the roads or anything. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Yeah. But, <laughs> it's the people. And this also explains why I got sick twice. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times we saw people go to the bathroom and not wash their hands was astounding. Drove me bananas. Astounding. <laughs> like, Blatant. Not even like, oh, I forgot to wash my hands. Not even just like, it's the norm. Just, you go in, you do your business, and you just walk out. Like, walk out. Not even little pretend hand sanitizer. Not even a sprinkle in the water. Just leave. I was like, and I noticed there were no, like, employees must wash hand signs in the bathroom. I was like, I'm just not going to think about it. You know, like, I'm just going to, like, I noticed that. I don't know if you did. I noticed there were no. Because remember when, okay, so we went to a bathroom. And remember when I was, like, Google translating? It had, like, a syringe on the paper, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, please don't dispose of syringes here, which is wild. But, like, <laughs> what I started doing, I started Google translating things in the bathroom. Like, any signs I saw in the bathroom to see if it was, like, an employee's must hand sign. They were not. And I was like... <laughs> so that food we be eating girl or like oh my god when we went to outback someone put like it was the bare naked straws with his bare naked hand in our bare naked drinks right and, and he touched the top of the like the top of the straw where our mouths would go <laughs> <laughs> 
I was like, I'm just gonna wipe that from my. Some of the like, there was a lot of times where I was just like, I'm just gonna wipe this. From just me. gotta go. Yeah, power through it. Yeah, I'm just like yeah. this is this is how we build up our immune system in Japan. But apparently like, not. Yeah, apparently fucking not actually. But <laughs> but um Ooh. yeah, it was wild. Or it some was... people like at most maybe like put their hands under the wall like just like a little. And I, yeah, I was like, or like I saw like a woman like do like spray soap and then like put her hands together and then put it under the water. Like there wasn't like it was like soap hands <laughs> under the water. And I was like, but like, you know that explains why like on on one of the tours we went on where we had the tour guide that explains why she made the comment like, oh they wash that you guys wash your hands so well. Like when she said that, I was like, what a weird compliment to give somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but now that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently Val saw a lot of nose pickers on the train. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I saw one. <laughs> I saw one. Val saw like four. I don't I don't know <laughs> what it is. I don't know if I look around too much, but like literally I would be sitting there minding my own business. I would look to the side and someone would just be going ham. And I'm just like I would just watch. Like I do <laughs> Mostly to make sure that, like, they didn't touch anything afterwards. Because, you know, now I'm like, if you're going to touch the handrail, I got to make sure not to touch that. You know, most people would, like, put their hands back in their pockets, which, whatever, that's your pockets. But your for business. those who did not <laughs> put their hands back in their pockets, you said, like, one, you saw eight. Yes, one guy, like, ate, like, put it, yeah, did his business and then <laughs> ate it. Another guy did the same thing, like, where he was, like, cleaning behind his ears and then he ate it. Just like in public, like you know, people are gonna do what they're gonna do in the privacy of their car or their home or whatever. <laughs> but these people are just like out here on the train, surrounded by a bunch of people, and it's not even like they were trying to be like discreet. Yeah, just out here, and Amber didn't catch any of it, and I don't know how. I caught like, one. I don't know how. I caught one. That was it. Yeah. I saw one. Yeah. Because I remember I was like Val, look, and she, you, you, <laughs> I was like Val, look, and Val was like, yeah, I. <laughs> like this, this is like not my news. third one today. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, <laughs> no way. Yeah. So like, I don't know. And like also like Japan has like no trash cans. Oh my. Oh my god. That okay. That's the second worst. I'd say the first is the hygiene thing. The yes. second is the trash. Yeah, yeah. So Japan like sorts their trash and it's supposed to be an annoying fucking thing ever. And you also have a specific place you're supposed to put your trash to have it picked taken, up. Taken. Which we were not told till like the very end of our stay. Yeah. Oh my god. And it was like it's just like. It was like burnables that you had like recyclables like that were like the plastic container kind of recyclables but then mm -hmm. you had your water bottle recyclables and then like, you had to take the plastic off the water bottles like right. you have to because like, that didn't count as the same thing that right. was with the recyclables but not the burnable recyclables which i get maybe recyclables aren't burnable i don't know but it, it was, was just there were like four different yes trash and then things. anything that was like aluminum or glass that was only picked up twice Twice a, a month. month. Yeah, yeah, the first and third Thursday. Yeah. and Or like big, like bulky items type of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, bulky, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, what the frick? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, I just want to go back to being like... Oh my god, just... Trash and recyclables. That's it. That's yeah. It. Oh, that's one of the beauties of America. I swear to god. I'm just like, oh. All this trash yeah. just... I know we have like trash, what do you call it? Heaps and stuff like that, but I just, I'm like... I, <laughs> landfills? Landfills, yeah. but I could not think of the word, it's but like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I was like, oh my god bless the usa yeah <laughs> so i'm like it was it's great for them because they know how to sort the trash and so you know things are clean and they're able to like environment whatever but whatever. they have to be able to do that because yeah, most of exactly. japan is fucking mountain and speaking of mountain we did see mountain fuji and that was a lot of fun yeah it was you're you're right it was otherworldly i was looking at the pictures i was like okay yeah that was right i tried to downplay it, it. i was like it just looks like a mountain bell no, it's actually really it was beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it was. Sorry. Right. All right. Yeah, <laughs> it was very beautiful. <laughs> you weirdo. But yeah, we went to several like Mount Fuji like uh, sightseeing spots, mm -hmm. um, which was really cool. And you just you got this beautiful view of Mount Fuji just yeah. wherever we stood. I was like, oh my god, it looks so majestic. Yeah. Like one day I would like to see it like closer. I don't think I want to climb it. I thought I I, <laughs> I I thought I told myself one day I wanted to climb it. I don't know, I climb yeah. It. I, the more I looked at it, I was like, that's like a really big ass mountain. <laughs> I was like, that's a, that's a mountain. That's a mountain mountain. Yeah, I was like, that's a yeah. mountain mountain. <laughs> and I just feel like knowing my luck, that would be the time it erupts <laughs> because it is active. So I was like, you know, I just. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Okay. Yes. Himeji. Himeji, Himeji was awesome. Yes. Yeah, so my mom came to Japan 
like in the middle of April. Um, and yeah, she left like the beginning of May. And so she's like a tour person. She loves like tour guides and all that stuff. So she got us the Mount Fuji tours. And then she also got us Himeji Castle tour. She likes history and all that stuff. I think you do too. You're a history buff, no? I wouldn't call myself a buff, but yeah, I do like yeah, you historical like... things. Yeah. I'm, I'm a foodie. I'm just like, what did they eat here? And can I have some? <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't really like a castle. It was more like a fortress, right? Mm -hmm. A fortress, mind you, that was like never used. I will say it was great to go with a tour guide because there was so much stuff that we would have missed without yes there. like yes. so much there was like one there was like walls of like they had like shapes in the walls like triangles rectangles circles whatever and then like our tour guide was like oh it looks like a pretty decoration right and we're like yeah that's cute that's like she's like <laughs> it's well nice. actually it's where they stuck their guns or like their arrows and stuff and yeah they'd shoot people through and it was like <laughs> so the night so the last thing they would see is something like really beautiful yeah you know and i was like yeah, that was funny. She was like, yeah, it gives the people, the soldiers who are, like, on watch something pretty to look at while they're waiting for someone to, you know, come up so they can... No, I thought it was the other it way was, around. It was both, because she was, like, on the other... Like, from the outside, they could mm -hmm. see, you know, something pretty before they die, but from the inside, the shapes were, like, not, like, different, but they had, like, different dimensions to them, and so mm. she was like, yeah, it gives them something to look at while they're waiting for enemies to come up. Crazy, nice. crazy stuff. I was like, what frick? How thoughtful. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or like one was like a really winding turn and it still had those like same holes, right? And it was like, oh yeah, it's so like the greatest dishonor or something in Japan is like getting like slayed in the back or something like that. Or like, or no, something you're never like supposed that. to turn your back to your enemies. Something like that. So their backs were turned to their yeah, enemies. Yeah, yeah. And so they would like shoot them in the back or whatever because it's considered like disrespect. So it was like a dishonorable way to die or something to that effect. Yeah. Don't, Hundred percent quote me on it, but like also how it was built. Like so, from afar, the walls would, the walls would like hide certain floors. Mm -hmm. So like let's say Himeji Castle, I forgot how much it had, but let's say it had like ten floors. The way the fences were around it, it looked like it had eight floors. So it could like confuse the enemy. I think like oh Once they only have side. right. Be yeah. like oh there's only eight floors, yeah. so they, they can only harbor like, about like this many men when really there's ten floors. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, it was really interesting. They also, like, we went in and there was, like, a floor with, or, like, a, a ceiling, actually, with holes in it. Where, like, the like, people would wait and they would have spears and they would yes. go through. I was yeah. like, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, it yeah. was, oh my god. It, like, just other random things where, like, so the toilets were only on the bottom floor. So, like, if you're on the top floor, like, you'd have to come like, all, all the way down. Way down. I was like, oh, that sounds awful. Mm -hmm. And then the very top floor is where, like, the sergeant, I guess, commander would wait. Like, if they, if the fortress was seized, then you would commit seppuku, that was called? Yeah. So he'd be like, duh. You know, I was like, oh, damn, okay. Yeah. It was just, like, really interesting. There were, like, fish with faces of dragons. Yes. On yeah. It. I forgot what that symbolized. She kept, um, reiterating how there was... How the the fortress was like something having to do with water. How like water was like a really lucky yeah. symbol for them. Like they put a lot of different things around the fortress to protect them from like fires and stuff like that. Oh, and she yeah. said it ended up working out for them because even though that area had been like destroyed by fires and stuff like that, the castle, Himeji Castle, never burned down. So she was like, obviously all of the like, all of the like charms and, and stuff that they put having to do with like water obviously worked was was what she was telling us the- Yeah, yeah, yeah. The understanding. Like, cause there were like water gates too mm -hmm. where where, like, if someone wanted water, they'd have to go, like, the very bottom, like, outside of the castle, fetch water, and, like, at every water gate, there would be a guard, and the guard would have to drink some of the water to test to make sure it wasn't poison. Mm -hmm. And some guards, like, died because it was poison, but, like, they knew, you know? So it was, like, like it was just interesting. Yeah. It was, like, a super interesting castle. Yeah. Very beautiful castle, fortress, whatever. Yes. Yeah, I'm really glad we had a guide. She was great. She taught us, like, so much. And, yeah. Like, without her, we we would have just been like, wow, this looks cool. This looks awesome. Yeah. I wonder what they did here. Right. <laughs> and, but she explained, she, yeah. yeah, she was like a treasure trove of knowledge. She was really great. Much. So we had our first onsen experience. Um, yes. That was interesting. <laughs> that was interesting. Because you just have to, you know, be naked. Do it. Yeah. It's got to be naked. And, you know, it's all out there. Yeah. And it was, like, obviously separated. But, like, it was just <laughs> interesting, girl. 
I was like, all right, we're going to... Oh, it was, like, painfully obvious that we're from... Yo, I asked, like, one girl. I was like, are we allowed to bring towels? Like, just... Yeah. Dog, because I was like, like... Because when we were in there, we both were like, oh, no, like, I was like, towels. I don't know if I can just, do this. Yeah, yeah, just have just have it all out. So we would go... Like, so we couldn't take towels into the hot springs, but we would, like, walk around with our towels in front. Yeah. Just... <laughs> These other women were, like, no, naked. Yeah. Just, we yeah. out here. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, that was the first time. I think the second time we went, it was like, okay. We were more comfortable. Yeah. Like, we, we, were, we just went and we still took our towels, but yeah, we yeah. held them more loosely. Yeah. <laughs> I think we were way more, like, lax. It's just the first time being like, okay. Yeah. We're naked. Yeah. <laughs> we're naked. <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> you know, but it was very relaxing. And I forgot, like, there was like, what was it? Like a carbonic? Carbonic acid. Oh, you're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> carbonic acid. That one felt great. Like, I don't. Like, I don't know, that one felt specifically, like, relaxing yeah, and just, like, nice, yeah. soothing and stuff like that. Although the last time we went, there were, like, this, like, older Japanese women who were, like, occupying it. And there were, like, six of them. And it was, like, a small-ish bath. And, I, like, they were just, like, all over. And I was like, um, excuse me, could we? And they, like, stopped talking. <laughs> and they, like, literally looked at us. And then they, like, got <laughs> out. And I we were just, like... All right, okay. we have the whole bath to ourselves. We just did not yeah. care. It wasn't like, you know, I wasn't telling them to get out. I was just like, oh, can we like, you know, make some space? Because they were just kind of like yeah. scattered, you know, like throughout the bath. So, so I just we wanted just to ask them if we could also get in. Right. And they were just like. <laughs> they sat and looked at us while we were like trying to motion be like, you know, can we come in? Mm-hmm. And then as soon as we like. We're like, all right, sure. And we stepped foot in the water. They all just, like, stood up and left. And we were like, oh, okay. Did not care. Yeah. We were like, because they also, they were in there, like, a long time. They were in there for a long time. Because we went into several different. Yeah, places. they'd been in there for, like, a good, like, 20, 20 or so minutes. Again, we weren't even trying to, like, push them out. Yeah, yeah. It was just like, can we, you know, squeeze in here? Yeah. Um. Oh, and then, so there was a day Valerie went in by herself. You have to tell the story. This is your story, girl. I wasn't there. So, oh my god. I decided to go by myself one night, um, and I went into, like, they had a bunch of, like, different pools that you could go into, and so I was sitting in one of the the hot ones or whatever. It was, like, a single solo, like, little tub thing, and I was sitting in it, and next to it, we had noticed it the time before, like, when Amber and I both went, and it was, like, clearly it seemed to be, like, well, I we didn't know what it was. But we noticed that, like, women would, like, just take a little cup, splash some on their feet, and then either leave or they would splash some on their feet and then get in. So in my head, I was like, oh, this must just be, like, a super hot one. Because they, each of the, each of the springs had, like, a plaque on it that, I guess, gave an explanation of what it was. But I can't read Japanese and I can't bring my phone in there with me to translate. So I was like, I don't know what this says. And so I was sitting... (laughs) And so I was sitting in my little solo tub, just being like, okay, well, I'm about done with this one, so let me go try another one. And I had, like, a specific order I wanted to do them in. So I was like, yeah, you know what, let me do this one next, and then I'll end in the one that's, like, the carbonic acid, because that one's super relaxing. (laughs) So so I get out, and they're (laughs) they're next to... to, (laughs) Next to where I... Next to the pool that I had been in were these two... Um, women, they were just like sitting, talking, they weren't in a pool, they were just like sitting on, on the edge or something or whatever, and they were just hanging out, talking to each other or whatever. And (laughs) my problem is, they were directly facing the pool that I was going to get into. And (laughs) so I like, I get out, and I'm like walking over to the other one, and I'm like, okay, cool. I saw some women previously like splash some on their feet, but fuck it, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna get in. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and i take one so i don't even like use the stair because they have like a little staircase <laughs> that you can use to get in i just like stick my leg over <laughs> the edge and into the water and i'm like <gasps> it's an ice bath <laughs> and i'm like this was a mistake this was a mistake (laughs) but at this point i can't back down because i know that there's these two like ladies they're like in their early 20s at at most 
there's these two girls sitting right here and they've got to see me. I know they see me. And so I'm like, I am pot committed now. So I cannot show any weakness. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's, I, there's, there's no choice. There's no backing down. Nothing can be done about this. So I step my other foot in there and pretend like this was exactly <laughs> what I had been planning. I knew exactly what I was doing. This was not a shock to me at all. And so at first I was like, am I going to just stand here for a few minutes? No, I can't. I have to sit down in this. I have to sit down in this water. So I gather everything I have inside me and I just sit down in the water facing away from them hunched up like this and I sit there I count to like I don't remember how long I sat there and for I was like I have to be in here for a good amount of time so that they know this wasn't <laughs> a mistake and I just sat there hunched up and I counted my time and then I got up I promptly left went into my little carbonic acid which felt great after the ice bath actually because it was like extra bubbly I don't I don't know what whatever it felt great and then I was like yeah that was great and yeah and then i made amber do it with me the next night i was like no we have we have to do this we have to do this i however did <laughs> not have any amount of grace that valerie had so yeah. like oh my god it, it took i it took me longer to get into the bath than i than i stayed so, in yeah. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 like yeah. i Oh my god, I was fine. I was like, wow, I'm in, I'm in. This is like enough, right? You were like, no. And she's like hovering above the water. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I was like, I'm in the water. Like, this is enough. No, it was not. Like, Val was like, you gotta just, just like sit down. Just, just sit, sit in down. It. Just Your body sit down. will go numb so fast, it won't even matter in like 10 seconds. No, it mattered. Don't yeah, listen it did, to her. Don't, it did not. It's because she it kept moving around. Once, so, you, once you're in the water, if you sit still, your body just goes numb. But her thing is, she kept like moving and fidgeting, and I'm like, obviously, uh, yeah, you're because like, I'm in an ice bath. I'm dying. My body is it. freaking out. Sit in it, like yeah. your body go numb, and then you'll be fine. No, I, if I want my body to go numb, I'll just sit on my legs, weird in a weird position, <laughs> just sit there for a long period of time. Or you could just sit in the ice bath for ten seconds, and your body's numb. No, I'd rather sit on my legs. Thank oh, you. okay. I'm just gonna sit on my fucking legs and be like, okay, I can't walk for like ten minutes. Give me a second, you know, like, just yeah. whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. no, it was awful. It it wasn't great. It was awful. Great. It, it was, was refreshing. The second time when I went with Amber because I knew what to expect, I was like, you know what? There's a little bit of refreshment here. It's it's nice. It's yeah. after being in like the steam and like the heat and everything, feeling like I was overheating because the first night we did not have enough water before we got into this these hot springs. Mm -mm, it it no, was you, you know I could pretend that I was getting some refreshment from it. You are such a fucking liar. <laughs> like, it is crazy. Like, the lies this woman is telling right now. It's so refreshing. It's so nice. I, I, really, I really enjoyed it. You like, can talk, like, dog, you know, you just talk, I'm like, this is great. This is gonna, because I'm like, I know this is gonna make the next pool that we get into feel so much better. It did feel yeah, it did. nice. It felt great. It felt great. Tokyo Labs. Yes. So, like, finally we found a place that Val showed genuine excitement for. so much fun. Gen I was like, oh my god, it's a miracle. Yeah. I think there was, like, three times in this trip where she got excited. <laughs> Tokyo Labs. I shit you not. I shit you not. <laughs> Tokyo Labs. We went to Jimbocho, I think it's called, which is, like, mm. a book area. Like, a yeah, yeah. book. I don't know. Like, like bookstores. Yeah, bookstores galore. Yeah. But, like, there was this one bookstore that looked like... It just looked like it was filled with like ancient scrolls, and she was so she was so, so happy. Cool. It was so cool. She was so, was so freakishly cool. happy. Like yeah. I, her face lit up like Ugh. a fucking Christmas tree. So I was cool. like, okay, and I'm not a reader. I don't give a fuck about books. So I thought this was like, fine. I was like, okay, we're in a book place. Yeah, yeah. Fine. There I couldn't read exist. any of the books. They were all in Japanese. But it you just were looked so cool. It did. They did look cool. I will yeah. say the, the the scroll shop actually looked really cool. Mm -hmm. And then we met this. I'm assuming she was British. She had an accent. Something like that, yeah. She but yeah. she spoke fluent Japanese. Oh my god. She was great. She yeah. like told us like what like the scrolls were and like how all of it was in hiragana. Oh my god. Val's touching my foot right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I... With my foot, not with my hands. I would never touch her feet with my hands. Okay, thank god. <laughs> that's good. What a relief. Sorry, I just needed you guys to know that, that this was happening. And that's why my face just lost all of its color for a second. <laughs> just... <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Lord help me. I'm just going to try to act normal by telling them what's happening. That's totally normal. Uh, oh okay. my god, I don't even know what the fuck we're talking about. Why you keep the lady in the, the lady in um, the bookstore. Yeah, but she told us like what it was about yeah. and how like all of it was written. There was like comics, one of them. They yeah. were, they were like ancient comics, not quite con like as yeah. we know them today. But like it was all written in hiragana, mm -hmm. which like, you know, there's a lot of kanji in Japan and but like the whole purpose of it being in hiragana is so everybody could read it. 
Yeah. You know, and I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like someone like me could actually read it. Tokyo Labs, one of the few things that excited her. And it was actually a lot of fun. It was like, what do they say? Described it as like living art, moving art. Yeah, it was like an immersive art type of place. And it was really cool. There were like various types of rooms. Like there was like mm-hmm. one like soft room, which was really nice. Like the yeah. walls and ceiling probably. I don't know. We couldn't touch the ceiling, but <laughs> I don't know. But was the walls the first were one we went into? Yeah, like the yeah. soft room. Every, the walls they, were like uh, <laughs> squeezing your neck. Know? Because the walls were like like a plushy bean baggy yeah. type of texture. And the floors were like all uneven. It did feel nice. Like, yeah, I kind of wanted nice. to, like, roll around, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, like, but they wouldn't let us stay in the room. Which, yeah, they were like, you have I to keep it. moving, yeah. you have to keep moving. I was like, boo. That was another thing. Like, yeah, you had to be, um, like, you can wear shoes also, Oh, too. yeah, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Um, so, like, we went to the water route first. Because like, you do go in water, you do want to, like, roll up your pants or wear shorts or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was really cool. They had, like, was it holograms or... Like of the koi fish? Yeah, it was like a projection yeah. thing where there were like koi fish and flowers. And we found out after we left the room <clears throat> that the whole point of that room was that like if you're when you're standing in there, the way they programmed it, it's it makes it so that I don't know, is, is that supposed to be a surprise for people who go visit? No. Okay, cool. So <laughs> so they make it so that like when you're standing, mm-hmm. the koi fish are attracted to like motion or to people, and they and so they will gravitate towards the the you know motion like where I assume where their sensors are, and so if you collide with one of the koi fish projections, they're supposed to like burst into burst into things. yeah burst into like flower blossoms and stuff like that. Yeah, no, and yeah. it was really cool. Was there was cool. there was a lot of like rooms that were fun to yeah. go in. Like there was one with <laughs> big bowels. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, was so that, fun. That, I think that was like your second favorite because I think your yeah. first favorite was like the shiny room. Yeah, the lights. Yeah, yeah that, that was. Nice. was oh. oh my god, we we oh, made up like a whole ass story. We we're like, yo, what if the what if like doppelgangers made a fun come house? out of the yeah, and they, they came out, out of the mirrors. mirror and they took you like you know the real self replaced you and then just like lived and then as you're you. You're stuck forever in the. We went clubbing because we want. I really wanted to see the nightlife in track i really needed to see it so we only went clubbing in shibuya which is a shame because rapongi we should have went we should have went clubbing in rapongi. rapongi is apparently known Next for time. being like seedy and like adult because there's like a lot of lounges in rapongi so in shibuya we went to a lot of clubs one called like womb <laughs> we went to never neverland is where people go to get sick by the way <laughs> neverland is fucking packed if you've ever wanted to be like a minnow or a salmon a s- in like, water you just go to neverland like a fucking sardine i yes, think is what you're trying yeah, to say yeah, salmon you. <laughs> 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 if you ever want to be a salmon and swim up river then you know where to go <laughs> neverland baby <laughs> <laughs> fucking salmon, <laughs> bro. It's like, don't they swim in, like, large groups? And so, like, when you see the salmon trying to swim up river, you see, like, a bunch of them, right? No? I don't think they, they swim like that, no. Like, up river, like, but I don't think they swim, like, no, no. no pack like sar- sardine. Okay. Like, that's right, the well, place. Yes. No one's yes. packed <laughs> like salmon. Pack like a school of salmon going uphill, you know what I'm saying, guys? You get me? <laughs> no, it was, like, packed like fucking sardines. <laughs> Because Whatever, we were like, you know what I mean? no, we don't know what you mean. <laughs> they did not know what the fuck you meant. So like, no, but like, so we were packed like sardines, <laughs> and <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. Yes. And yes, like the crazy. first night we went there, bro, like getting to the front, like you, or like even just leaving, it was a fight. Like yeah. you know, it was it was yeah. a mosh pit. You yeah. know, maybe not as violent as a mosh pit, but it was just like that close though. Yeah. Like, you had, a, oh my god. It's, there's actually a current. That you yes. just kind of follow, and somehow we ended up at the front. Yes, and yeah. you would follow the current <laughs> like a salmon upstream. <laughs> and that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> the worst. Yo, that was pretty good. That was that was yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty. If you guys like that joke, uh, please leave a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe. That okay. That first of all, they played a lot of um, American or at least a very like English. Yeah, yeah, all the clubs we went to, it was primarily like English. English, yeah. But there was like some K-pop. I didn't know it. Maybe you knew it. I knew it. Yeah. So I was like, oh okay. 
but primarily, yeah, dude, they were playing fucking Mom Spaghetti. And they were, like, yeah, they played some Eminem, and we were like in it. Yeah, oh, <laughs> we were fucking in it, but so was everybody else. So that's what like right, but they did not know the words. Probably not, but they were acting like it yes, though. Yeah, they were yeah, yeah. acting like I was like, oh, yeah, I was like they are. It, they were. Just, I, was, I just thought I didn't expect that. I just didn't expect that. Did you? Yeah, expect that? I did not expect that. I didn't know what to expect. I'm glad that it was music that you know we knew. We, we knew. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I don't um, know if it was just the clubs that we went to. Because there was some. Were, yeah. There were some clubs that were just like EDM. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Yo, that because that was the. That's when we went clubbing for my birthday. And by the way, so we came out of like the club at like four four thirty. The Wild. sun was up. Like didn't like, know what was happening. She didn't even know. I was like I was like pow. That you were like what what I was like look. And you looked up. You were like oh my god. Like just imagine going to a club at night. You know like yeah. it's dark out and then you come out and the sun is fucking rising. Yeah. And we went to like four clubs that night and then like one of the bouncers invited <clears> us to an after <throat> party and I was like. We have a we have a massage in like <laughs> five hours. Yeah, dog. I was like, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. And let me tell you, that massage I passed the fuck out. That massage I passed the yeah. fuck out. <laughs> I don't think this is the same lady who choked me, so it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, but I did enjoy clubbing. I do because in Rapongi, so the place that we went to in Shibuya, it was Jumanji Thirty Three. Rapongi had Jumanji Fifty Five. Yeah. And I was like. Next time we got we and they had like one of those like sexy predator <laughs> statues out in front and I was like, what is who what? is supplying these? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this your theme? I don't yeah it was it was kind of wild. I was yeah. like, fuck's happening here? But um, no, I thought clubbing like I actually had a lot of fun clubbing except you know the part getting sick and stuff. But yeah, and I just want to say the restrooms were really nice too. They were. They thankfully. were like significantly yeah. better than <laughs> yeah, like club bathrooms. They for club bathrooms they were really clean. They like, they were surprisingly yeah. so. I was genuinely impressed. Too bad people didn't, didn't wash their hands. And yo, and some of them were like, there were other foreigners there too. Like I remember there was like a French girl. French girl didn't wash her hands. She she did she did the soap. Underwater and like that's I saw it. I, cause I was watching. I was like, I was like, you know, fellow foreign. Cause I didn't. I, I think I knew she was French because I heard her either speak French or she mm-hmm. had a French. I just yeah. So and I was I, I was like hoping. I was hoping. I yeah. Was like, Foreigners unite and washing hands. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. And I was just like, <sighs> can't trust anybody. <laughs> I'm just yeah. like, what's just, wrong with we'll you guys? keep our hands to ourselves. Yeah, like, you actually did really good not, like, touching the handrails when we were going up and down the stairs. Yeah, no. You were great. I, I kept touching it. I was like, oh, too late. I'm already tainted. Like, was, <laughs> no, you were, like, really yeah, good at it. Not me. I, I fucking, I forgot. Like, I was like, oh, dangerously. I don't need handrails. You did live dangerously. <laughs> yo, I was impressed, honestly, sometimes how fast we were moving down those stairs. I was yeah. like, yo. So, yeah, we did see Tokyo Tower, which is a place in Drakengard, by the way, which was really cool to see. That was fun. Like, you just really go up high, but it's just, I don't know, kind of cool to see, like, Tokyo. You know? Just like, oh, wow. Like, dang. It's kind of cool. But their mascots were weird. They look like, um, butt plugs. Oh, yeah. Because I like to buy, like, like, souvenirs and stuff, but they were, like, souvenirs of them. I was like, I don't want a butt plug <laughs> sock. Thank you. Yeah, they were, like... Like, the souvenirs I think I would buy are primarily socks and then, um, handkerchiefs or, like, wash rags, I guess. Mm-hmm. Because Japan... The bathrooms didn't typically have um, paper, paper towels, towels and yeah. stuff, so you're supposed to bring your own like hand towel or whatever. Which to... is cute. There's a lot of like different cute hand. Yeah, towels I bought a few. Oh, and then the people. So I I find the older people to be actually nicer than the youth, if you would. Like don't get me wrong, we met some like nice youth, but like there was just one time. Like I'll go if I like something a person's wearing or they look good, I'll compliment. I'll just tell them point blank. And I went up to this girl, and she had like a cute jacket. And I was like, so I like your jacket. And she was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and just yeah, away. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward exchange ever. Yeah. But like, there was this one, like, Oji san and o, what was it, Oba san, so like grandmother, grandfather, um, like, old couple that were just so sweet. They had like a little sushi um, joint. Yeah. And. It was like really, this was honestly one of my favorite moments in Japan where we just sat with them. It was like nine o'clock, nine, ten ish, whatever. And we just ate sushi. Val doesn't eat sushi because, I had again. A cucumber roll. <laughs> he just made her a cucumber roll. He was, did. It was very nice. Yes, it was yeah. very nice. Yeah. But like, no, because the grandmother, though, she was very, like, 
You know how grandparents like just constantly feed you? They're like, oh, you still hungry? Here, have more, here, have more, here. I was like, oh my God, grandma, like I'm full, thank you. <laughs> but she kept like refilling our green tea, giving us more miso soup, giving us more seaweed salad. I had yeah. to eat her salad because, yeah. <laughs> but like, that sounds weird. <laughs> I didn't, I uh, eat a salad, you know what I'm saying? Not eating that seaweed, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God, kill me. <laughs> 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 but like yeah. no but in like we were just like watching this like japanese game show don't know what it was called but the idea was they had like i guess maybe famous singers or something and they would have to sing like iconic japanese songs like one of the songs was devil man from devil man crybaby and like the main singer has to you know sing on key but the choir would purposely sing wildly off key like wildly off key yeah. to like throw them off yeah and then at the end it would be kind of like rock band where you could see like where the notes were supposed to be and then where you hit yeah and it was just it was just funny because like even though like this this japanese couple and then me and valerie like we were of a different age different race different nationality like language barrier all this stuff like it was just like we still got along we still understood each other you know like valerie yo it felt like valerie understood japanese better than i did because so here's the thing right she was looking at expressions like body language yeah. where I was solely focusing on like listening, yeah. you know? So I think I was like trying to listen for words where Val like obviously saw the body language. When they said like, here, it, they were trying to say sit here. Where I was trying to like hear the word like sit here, blah, blah, blah. So like I didn't know what they were saying even though I should have just like, if I just fucking looked at them, I'd be like, oh yeah, like <laughs> sit here, you know? Because Val yeah. caught on way more stuff than I ever did. I was like, are you are you saying Japanese? <laughs> you trying to show me up? Like, are you trying to fucking show me up? The amount of like, times I was accused. Dog. Oh my, <laughs> really? No, she was. She was after my crown. No, I was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo. Let me act oh like God. I know what I'm doing. Oh no. And that was another thing. Going up to people, speaking them in Japanese. And like, I did it. And then they would speak Japanese back, but like, you know, five times faster and using a bunch of words that I don't know. Yeah. And I would just smile and be like, oh, okay. I got the yeah. Thank you. And then hopefully I took their directions correctly or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Surprise. Roll the dice. Yeah. So that was, that was interesting. Or would you speak to someone in Japanese and they respond in English? And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Kill me. I was like, okay. Thanks. No, but so many people find... <laughs> No, they say that most a lot of Japanese really do know English, but they just pretend like they don't because yeah. like the same way Spanish is taught in um, in America, it's the same way English is taught in Japan. Mm -hmm. So like you can take other languages than Spanish because I think you have to take like one language class. Yeah, yeah. But Spanish yeah, is like the typical. Language. Yeah, but Spanish is like the typical go-to, and I believe it's like the easiest language. You know, or at least for English learners, is what they say. I don't know. I, did. I took French. Yeah. yeah, la playa, the beach. What'd you call me? <laughs> what did you call me? The beach. <laughs> I think you're a bitch too. <laughs> but also I feel like some people I just was like way too friendly with like Looking back on it, if roles were reversed, it'd been weird. But there was like this pharmacist that was just really nice. It wasn't even like she he was took to this man <laughs> like nobody's business, like nobody's <laughs> business. <laughs> I really did. I really did. I loved this pharmacist guy. Like he was just so nice. It wasn't even like a ooh la la thing. It was just like you know, it was it was love at first detergent, I guess, because we were trying to get detergent. We that's it. This is the first we were trying yeah, to get yeah, detergent. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna go to the pharmacy or whatever. It's like a CVS or whatever. Yeah. But like, go over there and get like see how to get fucking detergent. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that set me like we just... needed to be done. Ugh. So yes, this pharmacy guy. What happened was we ran out of detergent and we were trying to figure out like what was softener, what was detergent. And let me tell you, Google Translate is not all what it's cracked up nope. to. Nope. What was the one thing <laughs> if I <it> said? <laughs> oh, yes. A so, word. <laughs> go ahead, girl. I don't even remember what we were. We were trying to re no, it was translate the, the menu. No. Is that what we were trying to translate? I, I thought it was the bakery. But like, like what we were trying what we were trying to translate. Like the hours or Yeah, like the hours. We were trying to, yeah, we were trying to translate something. And Google Translate said a word from epilepsy. <laughs> it was just, I was like, what? 
<laughs> but Google had like so many moments like that. That was just by far the most memorable one. I can't tell a lie. A word from epilepsy. A word from today's sponsor, <laughs> epilepsy. Like, it was just, I was like, what? Yeah, I was like, that's not helpful. I don't oh know what. Oh my god, what. it was so funny. Yeah. But anyway, so this detergent guy, like, he just helped us, or helped me, like, figure out, like, okay, this was detergent, this was softener, this is, because, yeah. like, our home that we stayed in, like, came, actually, was, like, it was fully furnished, it came yeah, with, like, great. yeah, like, no soap, or, not no soap, but, like, with soap, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it came, I was, I meant to be like, yeah, no, yeah, comma. Yeah. It, like, had, like, soap, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, shut up, <laughs> like, detergent, like, detergent refills, softener, plastic bag, girl, get up! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, it was fully furnished, mm -hmm. so it took very good care, like, tissues, yes. all that stuff. Yeah, but, okay. like, they forgot the detergent, they only had, like, detergent refill or something. I don't yeah. know, they, like, something was amiss, but, like, we got it situated because the detergent dude, pharmacist guy, his name is... Okay, Himeji Castle, right? Yes, but not. So it, like, ugh, dyslexia is a bitch, man. So it's like Himeji, and then Hajime. Hajime was his name. So this is where I get it mixed. That's mm -hmm. how you, Hajime was his name. And Hajime, like, just through the course of, like, the rest of our time there, he always, like, answered any questions. For example, like, I got sick again twice, and he just, like, hooked me up with, like, the medicine. So, also, by the way, ladies, I know it's, like, 3% of my audience, but Japan has the best period medicine I have ever fucking had in my life. <laughs> okay, dead serious. Wild thing to throw out there, but, <laughs> like, let me just throw that out there. It was called L-Pain. Yeah. But, like, that stuff was incredible. Like, I have really bad cramps and butt. And butt. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> I have really, I have really, really bad cramps and butt. butt. Great. <laughs> uh, you know, the butt gets bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, ladies? When the butt gets bad. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. I just want you guys to know oh this is gosh. why Val and I don't do, like, Val's never in my videos. Because literally 90% of this video is us fucking laughing about bullshit. Like, just laughing about shit I say. Yeah. I was just like a miss... Speak. Yes. That. Yes. A yeah. verbal typo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually. I like that. A verbal typo, yeah. <laughs> we went to a, plenty of different shops. Like, we went to Akihabara. I know some of you guys were wondering about that. Akihabara had a lot of, like, figurines and stuff. And while I think it's cool, I don't know, I feel like... I've, I've passed that part of my, like, weeboo life. Like, don't get me wrong, I love anime, manga, and all that stuff, but, like, If you know. love collecting figurines and stuff like that, it's a great place. If, if you're not, like, a collector, if you're not looking to buy stuff, then it's just kind of like, okay, each, most, pretty much all of the shops sold essentially the same stuff. They really did. I, we yeah. saw some duplicates. We were like, oh, okay, yeah. so it's just where do you want to buy from, mm -hmm. you know? But, um, anything else you want to add? No. Nothing. I don't know. I had a great time. It was great. I'll that, go back. That sounded so fake. Like, <laughs> like, I had a fucking gun to your head. I like Japan. Japan is really great. Can't wait to go back. <clears throat> it was great. The weather was phenomenal, probably, because we didn't go during the summer and didn't have to deal with the humidity and stuff. Oh my god, Sakura. Oh, my god. oh, right. We yeah, we did get to see the Sakura. Sakura blossoms. Those were... Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, serene. Yes. Yeah, those were nice. If you're a picky eater, just be prepared to live off of bread and rice. Really? Bro, that was actually kind of Which wild. was fine. Yeah, it was, it was fine. Yeah, it was good. We found some good places. I feel like we <laughs> found a lot of good places, we but did. I just feel like we just... There's so much more to discover, you know? Exactly, and that's kind of how... that I like... I think I know that you were like, oh, you wish we could have been there longer, but I felt like, for me, two months was the perfect amount of time to be there because I was there we were able to do a bunch of stuff but I still feel like I'd want to go back because there's still more to do like yeah. I, I don't feel like I did everything there is to do yeah we and have to nice. go to Jumanji 55 I'm dead serious we got to go to Jumanji 55 yeah. and see yeah. more weird alien alien statues yeah yeah mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. yes that was our trip to Japan I also loved it but I don't have like a gun to my head 
you know, I think like I didn't like it. <laughs> I liked it. I, had I a lot loved of fun. it. How about that? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Much better. Mm. But yes, um, I definitely will be going back. I don't know when, but at some point in time. Everyone was like, are you living there now? No, I'm not living there. I don't think I could live there, to be honest. I just think I'm too westernized, you know, for it. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know, public transportation is... No one I thought it was great. Once it, we got it's... used to how the trains work and everything like that, if you come from a place where you're used to, like, taking trains, then you're fine. But for us... Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think it was bad. I just... I like the freedom of coming and going when I please, like just, I don't know, I'm not on a schedule. And especially, oh my god, in the morning or at night, or not not at night, sorry, in the morning or like rush hour, like when people okay. get off work, yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh my god. And then I'm not gonna lie, low key, just seeing how people, how gross people can be. The fact that the train stations literally didn't have um, soap dispensers. Oh my god, yeah, they didn't. Yeah. Yeah, some places didn't have, so I was like... Cause I remember, oh my god, yeah, 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 bro. Just just stuff like that where I'm like, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I understand, like, to Japan's credit, they do give you, like, I like that they give you, like, wet ones before you eat. You yeah, know? like that, the wet wipes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is, like, really cool. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know, because you are holding handrails, you're, like, moving. Like, thankfully, a lot of doors actually didn't have handles. It was mostly, like, touch. Yeah. Most, most of them. Um. <laughs> but it works for them. Yeah, it works for them. And everywhere we went was clean for the most part, so mm -hmm. it didn't feel like, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it didn't feel like everywhere. It was just knowing what we know. Like, having that yeah. board knowledge, I think, yeah. was kind of like, oh. Ew. But, like, if you just never paid attention to that, you'd have a great time. You'd be like, oh my god, you're yes. so clean. Woo! And if you <laughs> like walking, it's a great place. It's a very walkable place. Yes. Yes. And I like that. Like, I actually especially like that where too. we were staying. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> No, I picked a great everywhere. place. Yeah, you did. Kudos. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it was so easy to get to Shibuya, Shinjuku, Shinomachi, um, whatever, Ikebukuro, everywhere. It was just yeah. everywhere was accessible yeah. to us. And, yeah, the trains are very easy to use. Like, it takes a second to get used to, but, like, once you figure it out, the yeah. bullet trains were nice. But I will say, make sure you, <laughs> we missed their stop once, and that was kind of crazy. Because, um, yeah, they're like, okay, we stopped. Like, when they say they're approaching, that's when you start to get off. Or, like, prepare to get off. Not, like, when we're there. Like, no, 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 yeah. no. Yeah, because when they say that it's a brief stop, they mean it's a brief stop. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay, I know we said we're supposed to wrap this up. So, um, that'll tell the people how they should support me. You should support her. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> okay. How should they support me, Val? <clears throat> um... You should support her by subscribing uh -huh. to her channel, and what's the term? You sign up for Patreon. Mm -hmm. You sign up for her Patreon, mm -hmm. uh, whichever tier you like. They're all great. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> um, also, if you guys didn't. Or couldn't tell. This was the woman who uh, voiced my Ayudin Chronicle video. Right. Yes, yeah. and yeah. she read all the compliments, yeah. and yeah, she loved every single one of them. Uh, thank you. She doesn't handle compliments well, so when I read them out loud to her, she just shrivels, and I like it. 